Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, I have a 20 pound bag, a box of jewelry from Shop Goodwill. And I am going to get through this entire box in one video. Well, that is my goal. So get cozy, settle down, because this is probably going to be a long one. I'm not going to be able to show you every single piece in this box, obviously. I am probably going to try to pick out the craft lot pieces and the bulk lot pieces and show you the better pieces. But let's just get into it and let's get through this as fast as I can. All right, we got a little bag. How are you guys all doing? I know I'm not getting as many videos posted as normal. I've been really busy, but um, hopefully you guys are all doing well. And as soon as things get a little bit more calm for me, I will be trying to post more than one video a week again like I was. But if there is anything in this video that you see that you would like, please email me at callymomcollects4, number four, you at gmail.com. And please either screenshot the item that you want and send it to me or give me a timestamp of the item. If you just say to me, I want that metal necklace, it, it makes it hard for me to figure out what it is that you're talking about. And then we're going back and forth. And so the easiest thing is if you guys send a screenshot or a timestamp of the piece that you like. And I then know for sure what it is that you want. So, okay, let's, let's get going. First little bag has two nice pairs of earrings. Not seeing any brands. Oh. But here we go. Very nice. Okay, we had a few things tangled together. It's a chandelier necklace. It says from Macy's. What does that say? Oh, hold on a second. Ali Khan, New York. Ali Khan, New York, from Macy's chandelier necklace. So it's adjustable at the top, and then we go into, oops, it's tangled, but cute. That'd be cute for a Halloween costume, I think. We have a brand new Croft and Borrow for a $20 necklace. Pink, silver tone, really cute if you like pink. beginning. We have some AV crystals and what looks like an Avon tag. I haven't even seen this, but if you guys ever see these really skinny oval tags, it's more than likely Avon. So let's look. It is, it's upside down, but it does say Avon. So gunmetal and AB crystal Avon necklace. And I'm trying to move a little quicker 
since this is such a large lot. I'm not seeing any tags. Silver, gold tone, crystal, simple necklace. No marks on the back. We have a shell hair clip in an acrylic. Circus Circus keychain. It is plastic. It looks like maybe one of the things you'd win from one of the games. I was going to see if there was any dates on it, but it just says hotel and casino on the numbers and there's that. Then we have an H&M rhinestone hoop. It is missing one of the hoops, but it has the medium and the small size. Normally $12.99. Oh, where is this? All right, that's a cute little turtle. This looks like an artisan piece natural surroundings jewelry and this is definitely an artisan piece really cute green shell and little turtle simple cord got another bag Cute enamel heart earrings, black, gold tone, what does that say? These are Laurel Birch, Yoel, Y-O-E-L, Laurel Birch. Black enamel hearts, really cute. They look to be in good condition, needs to be wiped off back here. It looks a little, a little dirty. We have a hinged bracelet, really pretty rhinestone design there. That's cute, I like it. Silver tone looks to be in good condition. There is that. We have a rhinestone choker necklace. Kind of would cuff around the neck. See if all the rhinestones are there. And it looks like they are. Okay, these are those vintage like wafer shell earrings. I have seen them before. They are so thin and delicate. I have not tried to sell something like this, so I'll have to look up and see if they do, but there's that. They kind of have an iridescence to them. We've got some SeaWorld earrings. The, the card here looks vintage to me. It looks older. $3.99, two different backings on here. There looks like there's a tarnish on these dolphins, and I do see something on the back. It says stir. Okay, I definitely think these are older. Sterling silver dolphin earrings. And let's see if you can see the stir. gold tone on this necklace is very nice. 
has a vintage look, almost looks like an Avon piece, like where it's made to look vintage, but it's not really good condition. I am not seeing any tags or any marks, but this is in great condition. Black stone. Simple silver tone linked bracelet. Don't see any marks on it. It definitely needs to be cleaned up, but there's that one. I'm not going to do, with this large a lot, I'm not going to do much testing because I'm going to try to get through this whole tear a lot on this video. And yeah, the testing will take too, too long. Very short, would, would rest right under the neck, silver tone necklace. That is also Avon. Little flower panels, it looks like. Oh, this is cool. Have you guys seen these before? These are one of those where it could be a necklace, it could be a bracelet, you bend it. Bend it. Like, let's just show bracelet for now. Just could be bent into any shape that you want. You could have them going up the arm. It's kind of like a snake, snake look to it. I have sold one of these before. It was a silver tone. It was a little bit thicker and it had a brand on it. So I'm assuming this one won't sell for as much as that. It's not branded. It doesn't look to be as in great, uh, great quality as the other one that I had that sold. So we'll have to see about that. We have a gold tone here that kind of has a darkening to it. I don't know if it's an antique gold tone. No designers that I can see. They're cute. Cute long earrings. We have another Croft and Burrow piece. It says it's a reversible necklace and for sensitive ears. So we have that design on one side and that design. To be honest, these earrings don't look like they go with this, but I'm not thinking so. $20 from Kohl's. There is that. All right, we have an acrylic necklace. It look, it has that vintage look. When they capped the beads like this, it gives it that vintage look. And it has one of the nice clasps. These to me just makes it seem like a more quality piece. And I think it's made to look like stone. It has like that pebbled, pebbled look. And there's that. We have an antiqued gold tone. It is a flexible cuff bracelet in blacks. It looks to be in good condition. There is that. I like it. Sonoma. Long, skinny rhinestone. These are also from Kohl's for $18. 
Right, we have a choker, a beaded choker necklace in this really pretty blue. The brand is Zad. I've gotten that a few times before. Not a very high-end costume jewelry designer, but there's that. Oh, this is interesting. We have a Buddha stretch. Oh, and it says Karma Luck on the back. So I'm thinking this is a bracelet for good karma and good luck. Has some tiger's eye beads and then some green. Well, it looks like glass. Nice. Stretch seems fine. Looks like we have a vintage. Oh yeah, Japan. Vintage Japan. Faux pearl. Three strand necklace. Very classy looking. Just gonna quickly look at the condition. These are, it's heavier, so I think that they're glass, but maybe they're acrylic. I can't really tell. Might, might be acrylic. And it's one of those. Cute vintage piece. What is this? This is colorful. We've got like this chiffon almost material for the neck, which is soft. And then all of these colorful acrylic pieces. All right. Very colorful. Ooh, this looks like coral. It is very porous can see. I think this is a coral stretch bracelet. This is really nice. Love natural elements. Stones, corals. It's just my thing. I love it. And I really like this. I'm going to leave it on for now. I like it. Okay, we have this bronze colored cuff. I'm not seeing any designers on it. It's cute. All right. I have come across these before. We've got the skull stones. These are dyed stone. And these sell. So if you come across them, these do sell pretty quickly. I had a piece that sold really fast. Okay, I am seeing, hold on a minute. I'm seeing a bunch of these. Oh, a couple more. Wow. Any more, any more? All right. We have a bunch of these. These are the bracelets that they're beaded and you roll them on. Cause there's not much of a stretch there, but they're made to roll on. And I have sold a lot of these before. I wanna say I sold it for like $14.99 and maybe there were like five of them. They're very nice. And there's them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we have brand new Lucky Brand earrings. Little studs, those little ones. Then there's these gold tone ones to be honest with you they don't look like they go with the others the other two are silver tone 
and then these are gold tone. So I'm gonna leave it on there, but I honestly don't think that these gold ones are Lucky Brand. I think that they were stuck on there afterwards. They're cute hoops, but not in the Lucky Brand style. I like this, this brand. I have purchased this jewelry before for my daughter. Good quality fashion jewelry with a bonus gold hoops, in my opinion. They might be, but in my opinion, they're not lucky. We have a mixed metal cuff bracelet. Come across these quite often. We have a little cloisonne style ladybug bracelet and there are the little ladybugs and it has the enameling and in the cloisonne style it's a little oddly I don't know what is going on with it it might be an artisan piece it's wanting to coil it's really cute the components are really cute so yeah there's that it's not a piece I'll be listing on eBay just because it's not sitting right, but it's still cute. I'm getting more picky with the pieces that I list on eBay because I have death piles for days. I'm actually thinking about having a big sale, maybe putting pieces in lots and selling them because I just have so much. I just don't have the time to list it all. I don't. I love this piece. I have come across this style jewelry before. It is not generally real silver, but look how nice that is. It would look so pretty resting there on the neck. Kind of has a tribal look. That's really cool. Let's see if it's magnetic. Uh, yeah, there was a little pull. Did you see it? It did pull. Yes, okay. Still cute, I still like it, and I think that that would look awesome on. Earring we will put to the side. Next, okay, is this a necklace? Is it a belt? I think it could be either, but antique gold tone with all of these pretty enameled flowers, and then it has I'm thinking it's a necklace. With this type of a clasp, I don't think that it is a belt, but it could be really long. You could tie it up short so that it sits at the chest, or you could fasten it and have it long. Cute, right? Different. Okay, we have a vintage style rhinestone bracelet with the blue and clear rhinestone paneling down the center. Does that have any marks or is that just it says 925. And it says 925 on that. Huh. Could possibly. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. That was very magnetic. Not even slightly. So I think we just have a little rhinestone bracelet. All right. 
Precious Lead Compliant Clip Earrings. These are very light. They feel cheap and they probably are cheap. But there's those. Little pink rhinestone stretch. All the rhinestones look there. We've got a gold nugget bracelet. It is very orange. I am not thinking this is real gold. It has that really orange look to it. It's in good condition though. I am not seeing any wearing, any marks. Yeah, there was a pull there. So we just have a little faux gold nugget, nugget bracelet. Acrylic beads, a chunky um, enamel pendant with some, it looks like marcasites. No brands. Good condition. Looks very 80s, 90s to me. the hair. All right. A dark gunmetal hematite color tone on the chain and then all of these acrylic danglies like a smoky gray and then a champagne. Good condition but I'm not seeing any branding on this piece. Still nice. We have that liquid silver look with beads and the little bird. You would see this style a lot in the vintage Native American jewelry. It's on a wire. There's that. This is interesting. It's a hinge bracelet and the hands meet together. Not seeing any designer marks or precious metal marks. It's different though. We have a Sonoma, $20, probably from Kohl's. Yep, we got a bunch of jewelry from Kohl's in this lot. Long silver tone with turquoise and wood color beads and this looks like a ceramic it's cute this is a really pretty blue and it has that moon glow look to it silver little heart charm and then the blue moon glow charm bracelet I'm not seeing any marks oh it's stretch okay so with stretch bracelets when you see this really yellowing kind of like this dark yellow on the stretch this is an older piece it is aged um, this is not a piece that I'll be selling on eBay because that dark 
elastic when it gets to be like this you don't know if it, it could break at any time which is a bummer because it's a really cute piece but if you ever get a piece and it has that really the 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 elastic stretch should be clear so when it is here it is aged and it is probably not a good not good condition anymore just a little tidbit Okay, we have this really dainty silver bracelet with a little pearl in the middle. I think you go like that to put it on. This looks like it could be silver to me. Just the design of it. It's not magnetic. I will let you guys know. It's really cute and dainty. I'm trying to see if it was misshapen, but definitely could be bent. All right, I'll let you guys know on that one. Cute turquoise beads and pendant with a little rhinestone center. Silver tone looks to be in good condition. that. Oh, got the other one of these earrings. Cute hammered gold tone, almost teardrop, and then these, these coin pearls. Looks like the hook could be wiped up, but they're in pretty good condition. Feels pretty smooth. I think those might be faux pearls, but cute nonetheless. We've got a cute, dainty little bracelet on a thin little macrame cord. Kind of a peacock color with these green and purple beads and then the little abalone shell. This is very simple, but I like it. This has that vintage artisan look to me. The same with that, the necklace that we saw earlier. It's like vintage artisan. I like it. Most of these are not real silver. It's very unique though, in my opinion. have a choker. Ooh, that, oh, look a little funky. It's a little wanting to stick out there, but this is still wearable. Cuffs around the neck at the back, has all these black beads, and I do see something. It says Italy. Okay, there's a designer name on this bead back here. Where's... Italy, Pellini, P-E-L-L-I-N-I, -L -L Pellini, Italy. And these feel like glass. It's a cuff. It's cute. A little, little wonky on the side, but it's cute. This feels like glass. Definitely glass, has this lime green zebra look to it to me. And then it has this kind of really nice vintage style clasp. The black looks like stone, yeah. All right, this is interesting. It's not acrylic. It looks like glass and stone or both glass. 
nice clasp. We have mud jewelry. This is probably from Kohl's too. Yep. All right, we got some Kohl's jewelry in this lot. I have actually sold mud before, this brand. It does not go for a lot. I probably got 10 to $15 for it, but it sold. This is a cute set with the matching earrings. It was normally 16. Like the greens. Ooh, this looks interesting. What is this? Look at this. All right, I have come across this hang tag before. I want to say it's BCBG. I'm going to have to double check that. But I have I have come across this before and it actually was in the box still so that I that's how I knew it was BCBG. These feel like glass pieces. And it's a really smoky green color. Very nice. This does not feel cheap and it probably was not cheap. I just am not sure about the resale value on this jewelry. A lot of designers and jewelry and clothing, to buy them in the store, you. You have to spend a lot, but the resale value is just not high. So we'll have to see. And others, the resale value is high. It's funny how that works. Right, we have multi-layers, a lot of different things going on. We have silver chains in different sizes, faux pearls. And this is Vera Wang, simply Vera Wang hang tag. Try to show you the hang tags for, for my beginners out there who are just learning. I love hearing from you guys, by the way. I love hearing what you're finding. I know a lot of People are just getting started in this business and I have to say it's a great business for additional income. I don't recommend it for a sole income. Um, that is just my personal opinion. We have a second income in my home and that is my husband. And this is a great additional something to his income, but... If I was doing this solely on my own, and I have been doing this for a few years now, would it pay my bills? No, it wouldn't. Definitely would not. So just a little bit of little tips for anybody thinking about starting. Like I helped my mom get started in this business, but this was an additional income to her, her job. So... This is just my opinion, by the way. We have a hematite look at least. It is not magnetic. It wasn't sticking to anything in the bag, so it's cute. No designers. multi-layer, an antique silver tone. An antique silver tone almost looks like there is a tarnish on it, but it is made to look older. This is cute. I like this. We've got some little crystal rhinestones in there. We've got textured ball beads and different 
different linked chains. This is a cute piece. I like it. It feels nice too. It doesn't feel cheap. No markings on there. But there's that. It feels like a quality piece to me. All right. This looks vintage. Definitely vintage. Look how cool that is. So we've got a hook fastener here. I'm not seeing any branding on it. It's adjustable, so you would hook it on to the length that you'd want. The little gold tone tassel was hanging at the back. Let's see. There is some wearing. There is definitely some wearing, and the gold tone is a light gold tone. I don't know if that's how it started out, but it is light, and I don't see any designers on there. There's that though, I like it. Definitely vintage. Okay, these feel like glass. Then we have this pendant here, which the coloring is a little off in my opinion. We have all these pink colors, and then this kind of like this burnt red almost brick red pendant, but all right, that's that. And it does look like it could be taken off because these pink beads are really cute. I like pink. All right, so far I'm liking the Shop Goodwill lot. Finding some interesting pieces. Any of you guys having any luck with Shop Goodwill lately? have not been buying a a lot from them lately but they are a great place and anybody can get their the jewelry from there it's always there so it's a great place to go if you're having trouble getting the blue boxes or the thread up boxes which is a lot harder all right i'm looking to see what this brand is i see the tag Alex, Alexa's Angels. Okay, Alexa's Angels. It says Aspire to Inspire. Simple. All right, we have a stretch bracelet with what looks like a faceted rose quartz and hematite bead. I like this. It is simple. There is not much to it. It probably is not very valuable, but I like this style. And then the wood. Cute, cute stretch. Then we have these dark crystal beads with this pretty pavade rhinestone fastener. Not seeing any brands on it, but it's in excellent condition. We've got this black silk cord in this brushed gold pendant. So it's in a knot. I'm pretty sure that knot could be undone. So whenever I see this, this, this look here, this gold that has like this dulled matte brushed gold look, I think of either Anne Klein jewelry or Madewell jewelry does this, this look often. So this could be one of their pieces, but there's that. Very heavy, nice. There is a couple scratches I saw down here. 
And if you do get Madewell jewelry, be careful because sometimes you want to clean it up and you want to get that polishing cloth off. I, I've gotten a polishing cloth to one of my Madewell pieces before and rubbed the gold tone off with a polishing cloth. And that was a jewelry polishing cloth that must have had some type of chemical in there and it wiped the gold tone right off. So don't make that mistake that I made. I would use a baby wipe or a just a soft cloth that's not treated with jewelry cleaning chemicals. Yep, so and that made that piece unsellable for me. All right, I don't see any brands on there. This is really long. The white looks like it could be stone. Yeah, these definitely look like stone. Stone and glass is my guess. Long stone and glass beads with little silver heart components. Cute, cute, cute. We've got a stretch bracelet with shell and pearl pieces. And these do look real. Really pretty ivory color. There's something about this that's just really like beachy but elegant in my opinion with a really pretty white sundress. I like it. Got some lion button earrings from Aldo. Ten dollars. Really pretty dichroic glass ring. Oh, and it says Murano glass on the back. See that? Murano glass. It's adjustable. But let's see what size it's at right now. Oh, I'm pushing it down and it just keeps opening it up. So definitely adjustable. It's gone all the way down to the seven, but you could squeeze it to fit. That's really cute. I love that dichroic glass and especially Murano dichroic glass or any Murano glass I'm a fan of. All right, there's that. What is this chunky thing right here? Okay. So, let me get it to lay right. We have a very short first layer that would fit right at the neck or right just below the neck. And then the next two layers go down low. So, okay, this, what is this? Is it wood? Is it a nut? It kind of looks like a nut. It looks hollow and light, feels light. And then we have these marbled acrylic pieces. Almost emulates amber, but it is, it, it doesn't look like amber in my opinion. But it's interesting, very interesting, heavy. And then what is this? This looks like that clay stuff. Oh, yuck. Get that hair out of there. It's on a simple orange cord. I think maybe somebody made this. All right. Okay, 
these are interesting. This looks like bone to me and with a brass inlay. Definitely some sort of bone. And then the brass tone on the wires and the inlay. Very unique looking. I'll get that price tag off. If you guys ever have like price tags stuck, get that goo gone or the goof off, goo gone or goof off, and it will get that yucky price tag off of your piece. That's what I use. We've got these abstract squares, very 80s look to me. Definitely could use a wipe down. There is those that even are in that pastel color. I am going to get through this lot in one video. I'm determined. We have another long piece. Looks like we have some wood and acrylic pieces. Interesting. Interesting. This looks like an agate slab, but it's acrylic. There's that, guys. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. These are crystal glass pieces. You can see here in that rainbow color that reflects the light. I looked up once the difference between glass and crystal and basically the crystal is the lead content and crystal is what gives it that rainbow color. This is nice, it is heavy, it is really pretty. It has the little rondelles. So there's that. No designers, but feels like good quality. These look like little starfish to me, or maybe little flowers. Are they starfish or flower? I don't know, but I like it. I like the ball beads on the chain and at the tips of the whatever it is. Looks like it could be turquoise or faux turquoise. I like the look of this one. Has a nice clasp. No marks. But that is cute. Feels nice and heavy too. It was not light and cheap. I'm looking to see if all the pieces and rhinestones are there. Nice floral black and clear crystal stretch. Ooh, how cool is this? This art glass heart is awesome. It almost looks like there's, like the inside is iridescent. Wow. It's on a dainty silver tone chain. All right, I'm seeing this fat part here that makes me think it is silver. Whenever you guys see that, double check it is probably a silver piece more than likely it says 925 d there's a d yep 925 d so we have a dainty silver chain which is nice to get some silver in here and this gorgeous art glass pendant I like that one. We have some clip earrings. They're very light. 
has these acrylic light lavender purple clips. Good condition on the gold tone. Is that one a little bit, what? A little bit off to the side. The clip still feels strong. It's just kind of off to the side a little bit. Cute clips. If you're into clips. All right, we are ready for the 4th of July. It's coming up. This looks like an artisan piece to me. Clear red and blue glass crystals. Nice toggle clasp. Cute. I like it. If this doesn't sell, I'm going to be wearing this on the 4th. Oh, I see another one. I think the same designer made this. Very similar. This is in very nice natural colors. The olive green, the clear, and then that amber brown color. Nice. And it looks to be in really good condition. It's finished a little bit. The finishings on there is not like totally professional, but still cute. This looks vintage. This has a vintage look to me. Oh, it's Avon. I think this is a vintage Avon. Look at the te textured links. The gold tone is in really good condition. Well, that's a nice Avon bracelet, and it definitely has a vintage look to it to me. Oh, this looks amazing. The gold tone is in great condition. It's heavy. This is a nice piece, guys. Has this nice hook clasp. Not seeing any designers on here. But I am in love with this piece. My favorite piece so far. It has that grappois look. I don't know if I said that right. vintage looking I'm just in love with this piece look at this look at how amazing this piece is I have no idea who the designer is this piece is definitely going into my collection guys sorry about that but I love it if you guys know anything about this or what it looks like, what designer it looks like, let me know. I love it. I've come across these quite a bit, these little butterfly brooches in my gay glitter. I don't know if that's an enameling or not. This one is new in the package. I'm going to leave it in the package so it stays nice. Made in Taiwan. We have some button clip earrings. Very 80s. It has like a fabric over over the button. Frosty the Snowman! Vintage Frosty the Snowman. What is that date? I see a date. 1982 Hallmark. 1982 Hallmark cards. Frosty the Snowman. It 
too. No hair. We have some cute little drop earrings with a peacock colored blue glass bead. I am seeing a tarnish on this silver. This looks like it could be silver to me. Sterling silver. Has a zigzag design. And then the little glass bead. Let's see. Nope, it's not magnetic. I'm thinking so. Can you see that darkening on there? I'll let you guys know. I'm not doing any testing this time. Too much stuff to see. All right, that looks like a Q. Brand new Alex and Annie. Yep, initial Q. Anybody have initial Q? I don't know. We have another Alex and Annie. This is a coiled bracelet that you could just slip your wrist over right there and like a lime green glass bead. What does that say? Vintage 66. All right. There is that. Oh, I think that says Avon. We had a couple Avon pieces in here too. That definitely says Avon. Really good condition on this gold tone. Little crystal, round crystal pieces, gold tone. Made to look like a tennis bracelet. Very pretty. And in good condition. These are unique. I am seeing little holes on the bottom. I don't know if there's something missing off of these. There's no backings on them either. Not magnetic. I'll let you guys know on these ones. Looks like it could be very unique looking. Oh, we have a purse holder, an elephant purse holder. All right. How does this open? Ah, there we go. Don't force it. Just figure it out. There's that. Hangs on the table. You hang your purse there. And it folds up and fits right in your purse. Cute elephant. Kind of has a fuzzy little texture on there. Ooh, what is this? We have the vintage barrel clasp. Silver tone. Mother of Pearl, really unique looking piece to me. Multi layers, cute, 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 cute. This right off the bat looks like stainless steel. It's heavy, feels nice and well made. But it looks like a stainless steel piece to me. have some seed bead hoops and the seed bead is coiled around this antique gold tone hoop there's that we have a little angel with a clover 
feels almost like a porcelain. It, it's in the package. I'm going to leave it in the package. But it looks through the package like it might be a porcelain, little porcelain angel. Cute. I've got this little bag. All right, we have another one of these. This one looks to be in new condition. Or like new. There's that. How have you all been? I feel like when I don't post as many videos, I don't get to hear from you guys. I don't get to hear how you're doing. So I hope you guys are all doing well. This dainty little necklace, I mean bracelet. I notice sometimes when I watch my videos back, I'll say necklace for bracelet and bracelet for necklace. You guys know what I mean. I do think that I see something here on the clasp. And that says 925. So we have a little dainty sterling silver and what looks like glass bead bracelet. Got a couple sterling pieces in here, which is great. What in the world is this? It's heavy. Feels like brass. It says it's a lock. This is an old lock, whatever it is. What? It's pretty unique. I've definitely never gotten something like this in a box before. I don't know how it works though. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe you have to pull it. I don't know guys but I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to figure it out. It definitely is heavy and unique. It looks and feels like brass to me. Uh oh. All right, got it undone. Look at this first, it is brand new, $8.99, Isadora, it's this mesh gold tone and it knots, different texture on this side. This is a cute, cute, simple fashion piece. And then this little thing, oh, is in a knot. Let me see what this says. This looks like it could be real pearls and gold. Has that look to it to me. One dash 20 on then. It says 1 20. It doesn't say 14 or 12 or nothing. It was like cut off in the clasp. Oh, there's a grit to that. These are real pearls. It is in quite a bad knot. So I'm not going to do that right now. But I'm thinking this may be a, with the 1 20, I think this might be a gold, gold filled or gold plated piece. It's dainty. See if I can get that knot out. What do we have here? Little button covers. Silver tone button covers. I 
This ring looks very unique. I'm trying to figure out if it's faded or if it had this, this brass tone to it to start off with. Antique to like brass tone. Maybe acrylic. It's cute, kind of like a vintage vibe to it. I don't get it. Stuck to my finger. It's a seven. Looks like little sunflowers. Cute. like we mostly have earrings left. These are a gold tone faux pearl. It looks like faux pearl. Yep, faux pearl. They're a little bit bent and I do see a little bit of verdigris on there, but just so you know, verdigris is easy to clean up with vinegar. And so I will clean those up. We're down. Oh no, no we're not. Let's get through the big pieces first. Okay, so this is a little fairy and this is glitter that is supposed to be fairy dust. I bought my daughter one of these when she was younger. She loved fairies. And I think we were either at a fair or some type of craft fair or farmer's market, and I bought her one of these little fairy dust necklaces. So that's what that is. Little purple glitter in there. Cute. See, we have some AB crystals in here. That is a Claire's piece. It looks like it could be an anklet. Look at how big it adjusts out. That would be a cute anklet. Oh yeah, totally could be an anklet. All right, that's cute, even though it's Claire's. We're getting to the weather where we could get out our ankle and all that stuff. We have a pin. It looks like maybe this was supposed to light up or sing or something and it's a vintage style stamp Christmas pin. It's cute even if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I'm not going to try to open it up. That's cute. I think we're down to what is this? Swank. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Has that like Roman Empire helmet and then the Mother of Pearl inlay. Oh, what is that? Maybe it's just an acrylic inlay. It's kind of cool looking. Tie, tie clip? I never tried to sell tie clips before. What is this? What does that say? It looks like a foreign coin. 1983 is the date on this coin. I do not know where it's from, but somebody made it into a pendant. Do any of you guys know what that is? Kind of cool. I like stuff like this. First off, I love coins, and that is a cool piece. Ooh, there's another one. There's another. It almost looks Hebrew, or you guys let me know. Do you know what that is? Somebody made an artisan made pendants out of these cool foreign coins. We 
Yeah, this one doesn't have a date on it like the other one, but I think these are totally awesome. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. All right, we are down to it. Oh, what is this cute little pendant? Looks like a little, what are those clogs? Holland? Kind of like the Delft, they look like the, remind me of the Delft blue. And it's a little vintage pendant. It feels porcelain or clay or something type of ceramic. That's cute. That is really cute. I'm seeing these textured gold hoops. Looks to be in good condition. I do not think they're real gold. When you see the gold hoop and then a silver, the part that goes through your ear is not gold. It's more than likely not gold. It could be silver though. I'll let you guys know on those. They're in really good condition. Really good condition hoops. What's this? We have a Hamza hand pendant. I'm pretty sure that says, yep, 925. It says it right there. So we have another sterling silver piece. It is a pendant. looking quickly so I will let you guys know on the screen if I find anything else about these pieces but these have a really nice classy vintage vibe to it but I did not see any designers filigree style silver earrings those are in good condition Little enamel gold and gold clips. These are pretty crystal earrings. We've got that peridot green and then the clear crystal. Really good condition. Butterflies and acrylic drops. Gold and silver tone drops. Little enameled cream colored drops. Silver hoops, oval color. Oh, this is a cute little toe ring. And hearts, and like, ooh, hello. Open work hearts. Does that say something back there? I think that says 925. Definitely says something on the back there. Ooh, it's magnetic. I don't think so. Maybe. We have this little brooch. It feels light and it is very little. Little flower. More drop earrings. These look interesting. These are really pretty. Faceted glass or stone. 
could be. Little crystals, look at how sparkly those are. Long silver tone. Pinks and natural colors in there. I like that. I like those. All right, we have a little starfish pendant. That says something on the back. Maybe not, maybe that's just texture. All right, I think that's just the texture of the back of the pendant, but it does look like there's a tarnish there. I will let you guys know. Cute little starfish pendant. say something on the back. Tear. Okay, these look like laurel birch earrings as well. We had those black ones earlier. These are really pretty, like a, a really brilliant blue. Look at that. Cute little teardrop, laurel birch, gold tone looks good like those. Got those. All right. Oh, here's what these look like. Those. They have a nice texture on there. These look like they're in really good condition. Ooh, these are pretty. We've got the pearl and the rhinestones. Very classy. Bow pearl. No backings on these, but the gold tone is in really good condition, and I will get backs for them. Pretty. Okay. We've got those. We've got these. They're tangled together. I'm going to move through these last bits. Those are cute the way they dangle. Those are in good condition. Those. These look like they would match that necklace that we had earlier. I believe it was Avon. Was it Avon? I think that's a set. Those and this. We've got a gold post. Always look closely at the posts that are gold. Um, not seeing any markings on this, but Looks like it could be, it has the look. I don't see the other earring. It's just a single earring, it is not magnetic. It looks like it could be. I will test it and I will let you guys know. All right, I'm gonna quickly go over this group of items. These are items that I'm not going to be posting on eBay. These are items that I would probably put into a bulk lot. We have this brass in pink shell of some sort inlaid bracelet kind of like a green lime green acrylic bangle one of these seed bead cuff bracelets well oh, all right we have this coil bracelet and this these bangles kind of a white 
this bracelet with a textured silver tone. We have these bangle bracelets that are brand new from Princess Accessories. We have this wood, what feels like wood, but actually it's really, really light. So I'm not sure if that's wood or not, really light. A pendant with a shell pendant. Magnetic. Oh, that rhinestone's missing. This will go into a craft lot. We have the Hematite and Cloisonne wrap bracelet or necklace. This is one of those versatile pieces you could do with whatever you want. Cute pink and cloisonne. I like the ones with cloisonne. All right, we have a bunch of black vintage acrylic bead necklaces. Two, a short one and a really long one. And then a bunch of the baby pink. Same way, they're the vintage. Vintage faux pearl pink acrylic. There's one two, three, four, four of them, different layers. And then these two necklaces, puzzle pieces, you complete me. Looks like a stainless steel. They're heavy, feels nice. Okay, so 14, I weighed it. I put all of the pieces that I'm gonna be putting into a craft lot into a bag and weighed it. And 14 pounds of this lot is craft lot pieces. Pieces that are broke or just not pieces that I will be trying to list. So I'm gonna quickly go over some of the nicer craft lot pieces because I know that my Artisan followers sometimes like to snag up the craft pieces because I only charge a dollar a piece for those. So I'll try to show some of the nicer pieces, but I'm not going to show all 14 pounds of craft pieces. Okay, here's the first set of craft items. Now, this was pretty interesting. It's, it's light. It's made to look like a vintage piece. It's very, very light though. And then I couldn't tell on some of these look like some of the pieces were missing. So this is gonna go into a craft lot. These earrings are gonna go into a craft lot just because they felt cheap. This vintage crazy clip that's misshapen. These, this stretch shell bracelet is gonna go into a craft lot. These, even though they're new on card, they are very faded. Oh, and these clip earrings. I don't know what that is. One of the backs is missing. Those are. Okay. Okay, my next set of craft items. This was a really cute bracelet from the outside, but the inside, not so much. So... Even though that would be cute on, it is not cute on the inside. These are dolphins, faux pearls. This piece just felt cheap to me. This piece was really faded. Some bangles, some cheapy, even though this looks like a brass, it has like this cheap sequins over it. I didn't like that. That I could see like glue and yeah, so this charm bracelet was really faded. We had some single earrings, but here is this next craft lot. This is the last batch of craft items that I'm gonna show you, even though there was more, it's just there's just too much. This wood bracelet would have been this wood would have been really cute the wood pieces are in great condition but the stretch is gone so there's that we had strands of a tiger's eye multicolored tiger's eye beads we had this really cute floral piece but then the top 
the suede part that's woven into the chain is dirty looking. But these enamel flower pieces could definitely be repurposed into something else. And it was a Leah Sophia piece. But yeah, the I didn't like the way that the suede up here looked dirty to me. There's this piece that's broken, completely broken. The chain is missing. We've got some of these shell pieces. This was interesting, but not a piece that I would sell. Safety pins. It's a safety pin stretch bracelet. There was some wood, more faux pearls. These are glass faux pearls, and they do look vintage. You can see on the wiring here, there's a little bit of vertigree, but it's missing the other side of the box clasp. So, yeah, anything else interesting in here? This stretch that is stretched out. These pieces, earrings. So yeah, so this is the last of the craft items that I'm going to show you guys. All right, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and pull back some of my favorites. Even though this was a big lot, I'm going to pull back some of my favorites and end this video. All right, that is it, guys. Lots of really cool pieces in this lot. I'm happy with it. We've got some vintage pieces here. My favorite by far is this necklace right here. We had the glass art with the silver sterling silver necklace this sterling silver bracelet these two pendants tested as sterling silver these earrings tested as sterling silver and this single earring tested as gold we have the gold filled necklace these two awesome pendants actually three awesome pendants frosty the murano glass these are sterling silver dolphins and these earrings tested as ster sterling silver. These awesome glass pieces and these vintage artisan pieces here. So, oh yeah, and these bone earrings and this crazy elephant lock. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very large lot of jewelry. I hope I was able to get through it quick enough and I hope you're all well. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you all and look forward to hearing from you. I hope you're all well. And until next time, bye.